okay, this camera wasn't working. So I'm in the car, headed back to the airport. Stephen calls me, where are you going? I said, Stephen, I got me, my flight is booked. I'm, I got to go to the airport. Oh, we want you to tape some stuff. I right, see why I got to get on the plane. So unless you're going to pay for me to stay another, so they didn't pay for me to stay for another time. So I get back home. So I go to BT's office, which is at the time on 59th Street, over there on, that's when they moved downtown. Uh-huh. And Steven said to me, he said, yo, Bobby, he said, we sorry it didn't work out, Kanko, but we're going to find something for you. Hang around here. We're going to find something for you. I'm like, okay, I got patience. I'm still doing flavor videos. Mm-hmm. Ain't like I quit fra- flavor videos to do. Right. Mm-hmm. To, to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And everybody at BT, all the production people, I'm like, y'all work for BT and y'all watching flavor videos? They were all coming, yo, what you going to play tonight? I'm like, y'all, mo- y'all ain't got cable? Y'all work for BT. <laughs> right. But they was all watching flavor. Because, you know, cast would smoke, light up, and yo, B, play that, put them on the glass, you know. So, right, right, right. I, I, right, right. That kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I saw it for the first Exactly. Time. You know what I'm saying? It was that kind of thing. So, I was a little kid. So, <laughs> <laughs> that and, and sitting on Chrome, my master ace. Right. That one. All those videos I would play. Um, so they never found nothing for me, but he said, yo, he had Penny, the girl who was worked for him, said, listen, find him something to do until we can find something for him. So they gave me the job, 106 and Park. So I was a DJ for 106 and Park. Free Nation's like, yo, we got DJ Bobby Simmons. I'm a DJ every Friday right. for, the, for the Freestyle Friday. Right. A couple of months go by, so I'm no longer doing Freestyle Friday. This was the day Beyonce showed up. That was the first time I ever met Beyonce. That's when she had that, what's that, Austin Powers song she did. This was way before the Crazy in Love, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. whatever. And the, the show was hers. Something was going on that day that there were certain people they didn't want in that building, and I was one of them. So I'm like, yo, what the? I'm like, it's Freestyle Friday. I'm supposed to be the DJ Freestyle Friday. Well, something went down that I was, at, I was eliminated from it, and a couple other people was eliminated from it. I don't know what reason. Why I was for them. Maybe because I was talking a lot of junk on flavor videos and people heard it. Because you know I used to talk a lot of yeah, junk about yeah, people. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, because I, I knew people. You know, but I, w- I would call you out. Like, you know. Well, anyway, that was the last time I was on 106 and Park. So all of a sudden, this guy got a TV show on 106 and Park, looked just like me. <laughs> yo, this is wild. <laughs> I'm not lying. So I believe. Want me to blow your head? Pause. 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 That, yeah, was that was crazy. Wild. Let me blow yeah. your mind. Mm-hmm. See, I'm hip. I know. <laughs> they ain't be doing that. They ain't be doing that. Right. right. Show was called Hits. Hits from the streets. Wow. The stand-up comedian, the, the, the sketch guy the, with the real live skits. Sketches, I guess. Skits. Mm. Peace, fam. I, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I was able to still live, but that's what they did. He looked like me, and he started doing skits like me. Just like out in the public. But you, you had a couple of those? Okay, I'm quiet. Yeah, you did that too. Exactly. I'm quiet. So I'm like, oh, so I wasn't, yeah, I thought you liked my skit. Was it, was it Stephen Hills doing? Well, it had to be somebody that's doing because he, he was in charge of all that. He had to approve it. <laughs> Yeah. He had to prove it. Now, I know he probably watching, and I'm not even going to say probably. I know Stephen Ellis is watching because he's always watching stuff that he can get his wife on. Chantel, uh, no, she's dope, though. You know his wife, right? Mm-hmm. Chantel, well, she's dope. She's nice, though. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, she's nice, though. So he's, he's probably watching now, probably saying, yo, let me, get, let me come up there. Yeah, come up here, Steve. I, I want everybody to come up on your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call some, call some more people out. Word up. It's great. So I can watch Let's y'all go. try to fix Let's the go. stories. Because <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose. It ain't like I've been cloud chasing. Y- y'all see me on Instagram or cloud chasing? Wow. I'm not cloud chasing. It's like this is what literally happened. Some of it is good and some of it is bad. Some of it is just like, but this is what really happened. I'm not doing a Jaguar right. I'm not doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm just telling you, like, this is, this. you asked me why I didn't. Right, right, ex- right, right, right. No, right. you're literally yeah, no, asking no, no, no. answering the question. Your truth. Listen, so, your truth is your truth. That's it. That's all it was. It's not, not, even, it's not even your truth. It's just what happened. Exactly. It's right. what happened. So I'm not saying Stephen Hill is the dog. I'm just saying this is what happened. You haven't even told us how you felt about these things. You're really just recalling the story. Um, 
because I've been in the business at the time for quite a bit. I, I, I already knew if there was going to be an un- uh, 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 outcome, don't worry about it. I still had flavor videos. Right. I still had that. And on the other hand, I was still producing records too. I was producing Smith and Wesson. Shout out to Tech and Steel. Peace, oh. Tech and Steel. Every time we call y'all, they always show up. Shout Those out are to our boot, boys. Shout out to the boot camp. Yeah, and, they always oh. show up. That's my boys. Oh. Um, but I was, so I was working. So it wasn't like I was, our thing was we always found a way to plug into something. So that we can stay somehow incorporated. Right. So I always knew how to plug myself into something. I had everybody on my show. If you was mm-hmm. gonna be on my show, I'd be like, yo, yo, Hoff, yo, what's up? We're gonna do this record, Stetton Hoff. I'm gonna plug that until we make it happen. I always make sure we connect, you know, because I'm, 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 I'm always staying, you know, involved and working. Young kids, same thing with Rusty Jooks. Like, when we got the shout, Rusty. Shout to Jooks. Yeah, shout to Jooks. What up, Jooks? Crying Jooks. Heights. I played Juke's video on my show first. His sister put him, put, rest in peace, his sister. His sister put him on my show. Wow. Rusty Juke's sister. She said, you need to watch Bobby's show. This dude is crazy. And he watched. I had him on my show. He had a video. This was 90, maybe 99. And I played it. I played it religiously. That was the joint where he, with the special effects. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like, until this day, Rusty keep telling me, yo, man, yo. I'm like, yo, I, Basically, I'm just glad, again, just keep coming back. Look, he, he on a record with us on a, a new single coming out. Do you? Is this what you attribute your longevity to? Yeah. A lot of people come and go in the business and figure yeah. out, but well, you- You know why? Because one, I have great patience. I'm not in a rush to do nothing. This is my journey. I want to watch it. Hmm. I want to watch my journey. Story sounds better when you watch it. Well, I'm watching okay. my journey. I got into this business, the first gig I ever did professionally professionally, before the Stet album came out, was in 85, I got hired as a drummer to play for Natalie Cole. You all familiar with Natalie Cole? Yes. Just, she fired me, though. No. But, no, no, I'm, 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 no, we don't know who Natalie Cole is. She Cole. fired me, though. She fired me. She fired you? Why she fired you? Because I went to the rehearsals, right? <laughs> I went to the rehearsals, and we was getting ready to release our album, the Stet album. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm a musician. If you call for a musician, I'm going to do my job. Mm-hmm. I was playing these hip-hop beats on one of her songs. And she stopped the rehearsal like, no, you, I was being too busy is what she called it. I was being real busy. I was doing, I was doing, you know, what's that record? I was playing that on one of her songs that didn't even have a beat like that. <laughs> and she stopped it. That's when she was on her, her cocaine day, so she was lit. <laughs> Boy, come on, I watched it. She was lit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's, it's facts. People know I'm not lying. All right. Yo. She stopped the rehearsal, and the guy who hired me was a keyboard player. I'm not going to say his name because he probably going to be like, Yo, Bobby. Uh, Just leave me out of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, um, that's not how the song go. I said, yeah, but I just want to you know, add a little flavor. Give it a little. She said, that's, that's, that's not what I hired you for. I hired you to play the way it sound like on the record. If you play like how it's on the record, well, I don't need you. So just play how, how you hear on the record. I said, but yo, I said, but you know, we hip hop was growing at this time. You know, South Bronx was out, you know, blowing up. And I said, yo, we get, I, me and my group, we got a record coming out. She told me dead in my face, no lie. She said, I don't care what record you and your group got coming out. Either you do things the way I do it here in my camp, or you don't do it at all. I don't care about your group. So I played the way she wanted me to play it. I did one show for her. She lit up a cigarette, told the keyboard player, this is your Bobby, man. Um, <laughs> she fired me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that knows me, even Natalie's family, I've been telling that story for years. Yeah. She fired me. It's hot for trap, trap, and turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Uh-huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.